Hello, I'm Gemsplot120, and we are playing Artifact Quest. Why are we playing Artifact Quest? Well, here's the thing. I am still working on Redux, obviously, and uh, I am also working a little bit on a new mod pack. Uh, I've made a single mod pack before in the past, a mod pack that I would cons that I released to the public, a actual mod pack, not like Jumpcraft, which was like a personal kitchen sink thing an actual mod pack with a direction and everything and i released it it was called artifact quest that was a while ago i don't think i ever said anything about it on my channel and the one thing about artifact quest was it had bugs it was not perfect uh and i never got around to fixing them uh after finishing it and releasing it i just wiped my hands of the whole thing i was so done with this mod pack but um playing uh, with his new mod pack and playing Brightfall, I'm and and trying to get uh, sort of inspiration for my new mod pack. I wanted to look a little bit back at the past and see some of the mistakes I made, how I could improve, so on and so forth. Um, so that's what I was doing. So I was looking at that and I figured, well, fuck, if I'm gonna go through this old mod pack, I might as well record it because it's not super long. Um, I don't think. Uh, as long A lot of the quests, I tried to make it so there was never a spot where you just kind of come to a grinding halt. Um, it does kind of slow down, obviously. It's just gonna, that's just what's gonna happen eventually. But I tried to keep it so there's always just an easy next step for you to go to. You're never like going, 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 stop. The next thing you have to do is build a fucking nuclear reactor and you're like, I just built a crafting table. Like, what? There's. I tried to keep it from doing that. But it does have that a little bit. But it's still, overall, I think a pretty quick mod pack. So I'll just make a full series out of it. Uh, it's made in Minecraft 1.10.2. I highly suggest using Optifine um, because it's a little laggy. Speaking of Optifine, I forgot to add it. GG me. Uh, but if we actually take a look at the Artifact Quest page... This is the logo so you guys can know what it looks like. Things that go bump in the dark. Um, here are some of the descriptions. We'll run through it real quick. God has misplaced her powerful artifacts and needs you to go and find them. Luckily, every time you find an artifact, you unlock abilities to make your job easier. Un unluckily, nothing about this is easy at all. You have mobs that can see you through walls, creepers that have issues with walls, occasional boss mobs, occasional blight mobs, which are like boss mobs, but different because they're on purple fire, occasional other boss mobs, mobs progressively get more health, zombies that don't like your torches, torches that go out on their own, God is kind of an asshole, there's a Gru in the darkness that will kill you, God keeps laughing at you every time you die. Seriously, it's totally uncalled for. But if you can work in such horrible conditions, you can eventually become near godlike so yourself. So go forth, quest, and pick up after God like you're her mother. Uh, this pack is very heavy on the computer due to the visual mods. You can disable some of them, um, which should hopefully make it a little better. And a couple of F uh, stuff from the FAQ if you guys have any questions. None of the keybinds work. Most mods added keybinds are disabled by default. Set your own keybinds. Um... I was swimming and I suddenly died. If you take any drowning damage, you die. Use the torch trick or keep a bottle of water breathing on your person for undersea adventures. I died and lost all my stuff. That sucks. If you use a grave pet, it will keep all of your stuff on your person when you die. Make sure to have some bones for it to eat. Otherwise, it doesn't do anything. Bug number one. The grave pet doesn't work. At all. I was playing this mod pack and I was actually recording this mod pack a while ago. And it just was not working. And... Also, I lost the recording, which kind of pissed me off. But the grave pet doesn't work. You can die. You can have it fed. It won't keep your stuff on your person. So we will be using keep inventory. Um, I can't find anything. Why don't you have a minimap mod? I'm trying to keep the vanilla feel, and I don't want to offer a solution when one already exists in-game, i.e. use vanilla maps to keep track of the surrounding landscape. Creepers keep blowing up my house, and I keep dying. This is totally unfair. Yup, mobs can see through walls. Zombies will sometimes place TNT, and creepers will explode if you are too close to the wall. There's an early game quest that gives you enough blocks to create a safe room with space for a bed. Use that safe room in the early game and make sure to sleep right when it falls night so there aren't too many mobs around. Something happens every time I try to sleep. Just wait a few seconds. Simulated Nights is a mod that simulates the whole night in theoretically about 10 seconds, but it does take a little bit longer. Uh, things like furnaces and crops tick as though you had been up all night after about a few seconds it should give you back control the reason why i have that is because obviously you don't want to be up all night but you um because it's just very difficult with the mobs and everything um so this is the next best thing you just simulate the nights as you sleep so that way you don't have to just sit there and 
slowly have creepers explode away at your walls over and over and over. <clears throat> but anyways, this is my first publicly released pack, so I will do my best to work with everyone to squash bugs and such, but you should know that there have been changes to some vanilla mechanics, so make sure you check the FAQ on the launcher before reporting a bug. This pack is also incredibly unforgiving, and your home will be blown to bits before you get a chance to really stake a claim and protect your land. There is an early quest that will give you a small safe place, but I suggest not playing this pack if you get salty easily. The one other big thing that this mod pack had was voice acting that I did by myself. It's not perfect, and there's a very cringy... Oh, no, there's no music. It has some pretty good music, too, but it won't start up if you have the music off. So now I have to quit. Now you can hear the lovely music coming in. How fucking thrilling is that? It's, I have a lot of mods in here. There's a lot that I'm proud about this mod pack. There's a lot that I'm not. Like, there's some really dumb shit that I fucked up on. There's some cringy voice acting due to me having just started my transition and feeling very insecure about gender. And so, <clears throat> yeah, it's a little awkward. But it's a good mod pack. Um, I spent way, way too long on it. We will call this a whole new world. Like I call every mod pack a whole new world, to be fair. A whole new world. A woolly new woolly new world. I like to tell stories with my mods, so, with my mods, with my projects, any project I make, so. Also, I just realized because it's, <laughs> because it's, um, Christmas, I can make the holiday pet. Which is, the holiday pet, which is that stuff right there, and <clears throat> polit politically correct pet. Monsieur, I can't read that. M Menorah Christmas tree. What does that say? Mishuma? Mishuma Saba? Maybe. Maybe that's what that is. <clears throat> but yeah, there's lots of custom music and stuff like that in this mod pack, which is quite cool. Um, and we'll let the world generate around us real quick. There's one thing we have to do real quick. There's a there's a mod which is uh, there's a problem with this mod pack. You can't go into the Nether for some reason. I was testing out the mod pack. I was playing with it and I just couldn't go in. And I'm like, that's not a bug I encountered originally. Definitely was able to go into the Nether originally, but I couldn't when I played it. So we might have that problem. I'll see if I can fix it. First of all, options, controls, and absolutely have to change this to Q as always and drop item to E auto jump off I love that I love all of the controls being set to none by default so I can just set them as I use them so nice so nice I need to remember to do that on my new mob back <clears throat> lovely Here's a minor bug. Hello. If you can hear me, uh, make a stupid face. Oh, yep. Sometimes the voice acting Perfect. is super quiet. Okay, you, you can stop now. All right. Well, welcome to AOA. It's a book that will help guide you through stuff, but I'll be here too. Like, really quiet. Very close eye on you. Not like a creepy way, just in like a, I want to make sure you don't corrupt existence. Anyways, open up your quest book. You should be able to just think about it and will it into existence. After that, go punch a tree. It's very quiet, but that's not consistent. Sometimes it's perfectly audible. That was another bug that I couldn't track down. And if I learn anything from that, it's to I need to talk to mod authors when I encounter bugs like that and not just sit there and go, whoop. It's unfixable, uh, but luckily you can use vocation review to review to just 
listen to it again. Is this thing working? I'm trying to. And then if we press tilde, we have our quest book. That looks pretty nice, honestly. I mean, it's kind of a boring text right there, but it's not bad. And then here we go. Oh, another bug. Sometimes scrolling doesn't work on this. I don't know why the fuck that was about. I need to really like talk to mod authors and stuff about that. Anyways, this is your first quest page. Hello world. You do all these quests uh, and you'll see that you have a bunch of locked quests, right? Including Band of Immortalities, way down there. It's a big page. And the reason, the, the main concept, which there's a quest that sort of explains the main concept a little bit later down the line. But the idea is the main concept is you explore the world to find each one of these mystical items. Man, I like the texture work I did. There's some things about this mod pack that were really good. Like the texture work's not bad. I kind of like that more than the chest I've just made recently. Death Ring's kind of boring. Euclidean ruler. Ha ha. Compass isn't bad. Icker isn't bad. Some of this stuff is really nice looking. The seed of time. There's the little seed of time. Um, anyways. So, punch trees get wood. Let's make sure you know the basics of Minecraft. When you hold down left click, you're able to mine materials. If you have the right tool, then you will gather material. Otherwise, it will disappear into oblivion. Try gathering some wood. All right. And <laughs> I didn't mean literally punch a tree. I, w I was going to give you an axe. <laughs> it's it's kind of oh, kind of quiet. Can't quite hear you. Can you speak up? <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to let you know my experience. I put it in a book so that you won't forget. You can hear it kind of glitching out too, like it's trying to get louder, but it doesn't quite do it. Anyways, we'll let God talk, talk, talk. We, it's, it's, it's my voice acting. If there's anything important, I'll let you guys know. But uh, in a second, it'll tick over. There'll be some more, more text. Make a house, or you will die. If we click claim, we got ourselves a strainer base, strainer, survivalist trainer. Oh. There we go. Keep inventory. Solves the the grave pet issue for whatever reason. <clears throat> um, I'm probably not going to be doing much bug fixing in general. I, the pack is just done. In my mind, I just... I finished it. I can't reopen it and, and start working on it again. I'm just so fucking lazy. Yep, those are creepers trying to get to me. <laughs> uh, like I mentioned before... Uh, Mobs can see you through walls. Creepers will explode against walls to try to get to you. Um, we open this up. Three iron. And see, it give, I give you the grave pet right away. It, the idea is I give you the grave pet right away so it's not a problem. As long as you can hold on to it and feed it bones. But that just doesn't fucking work. It just does not work. Uh, super annoying. Um, we will turn this into that. Then we need... Uh, but yeah, there's a bunch of music that's like custom and stuff, which uses one of Vasky's mods. Um, but the thing is, the mod only allows you to do one song per biome, um, per like time, per event, and per biome, which meant that to get like a string of songs, I had to make all the songs into like one super long song, which means that all the songs play at exactly the same like intervals exactly the same time exactly the same pattern it's kind of repetitive but if you've never heard of the music before it's nice 
and it does take a little while to get to become repetitive. So it's it's nice for a while, but it's unfortunate that that was a thing. Um, <clears throat> and I, by the time I was working on this mod, it was already becoming like 1.11 was out. This is 1.10. 1.11 uh, was already out. So people were already like moving on. Um, or like as I was finishing it up, I think maybe even. I can't remember exactly. 111 or 112 was out and Fasky was like, nope, I'm not gonna fix it. And I'm like, cool. So that's a bummer. Uh, I think we'll just set up right kind of here-ish uh, for now. Um, we're gonna eventually have to move over into the water, but we are not doing that quite yet. Um, and actually, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna build right in here. I know it's a bad idea. I'm gonna do it anyways. I'm sick of building water bases in the beginning. Uh, I need furnace, which means I need wood to make myself a pick. God will chime in every once in a while. If she says anything important, I'll let you know. But it is very quiet. Don't worry. You have not missed anything, I promise you. I'll grab some cobblestone. Instant upgrades, baby. You'll see that they all have EMC values. Yes, Project E is in this pack. It's very late game. So. Oh, for a, for a second, I was like, wow, diamonds. What did I do? No, no, no. I think, I think the spawn rates are slightly buffed, but basically the same. Uh, we'll get ourselves a little bit of cobble. We need a stack of cobble, I'm pretty sure, for one of the quests. So we'll just grab that real quick. So a stack of cobble plus eight, 64, plus eight is 60, 74? It's, no, 72. Yeah, it's 72. Final answer. <laughs> I guess it doesn't really matter, because it's in stacks of 64 plus 8 more is what we need. Also, if you ever play the mod pack, uh, I suggest not standing around, like, enjoying the sights. Uh, really just jump straight into the quests. Um, it's nice to listen to God's voice. I would say try not to worry too much about what she's saying. It's not always entirely important, and... If you don't get a base for this first night, it's just, it's, it's the most irritating thing because you're just getting spawn camped by all these mobs. Um, so you really want some way to, you just want a safe base. Um, so God will chat, just kind of have it on in the background, as it were. There we go. We'll claim, done. You are likely to be eaten by Gru. The quest will set this tonight, so we don't claim this until it's nighttime. Um, and it just gives you a clock, which you do need. Um, so it's important to do that. I am the one who knocks. This is the quest that gives you um, a safe place. Zombies can break blocks. The blocks that absolutely cannot, they, they, the blocks they absolutely cannot break through are Witherproof Obsidian and Purified Obsidian. And Purified Obsidian has the added bonus of being player proof too. That is only the one with the key can break through it. Of course, you can always protect all of your blocks with a wand of protection, and interdiction torches can keep mobs away from your buildings in the first place so that it's not even an issue. Also, some zombies will have TNT, and creepers will attempt to breach into your house, so I'd employ the help of some tourists to keep yourself protected in the early game. Also, you might also, also you might ask why 113 blocks? 113 is exactly the size for a 5x5x2 five by five by building, plus 2 extra just in case you misplace something. This is your safe box and gives you somewhere to huddle at night in the early game. See, I'm not that horrible of a god, just mostly horrible. Winky face! Oh, fuck. I lied. We're going out into the fucking water. Because I know this mod pack. I've played this mod pack enough to know how much of a bitch it is. Easiest way to do it, build yourself either above ground or over the water a little bit. Um, and then, whoops, what she, what, yeah, sure, sure. We'll do door, two, three, four, five. I said five by five by two. I'm not entirely sure if that's right, but it might be. But we'll, so we're just gonna trust that it's right. I I remember doing the math wrong originally and correcting it, but I don't think I corrected it correctly. We'll see. Door. That spider's coming for us. No spider. Bad spider.
Bad spider. Don't do it. Don't do it. Shit. Shit. No. I swear to God. Stay out. Stay away. Stay away. I definitely spent too much time fucking around in the early game. 48. 5 by 5 is 25. We could make a 3 by 5. Maybe. I don't know! What is this? 5 by... F 5, 10, 15... Oh, I'm gonna be two blocks short to do that. Ah, uh, we did it. The mobs only get harder. Really only do. Uh, the only problem with this is that... Whoa, are those legendary bags? Well, we have to fucking grab those. I didn't do the math right. This would be so much easier if I had done the math right. Oh, maybe I did. Oh, I think I did. Actually. Oh, but we can't put the roof on tonight. Because the Gru will spawn. That's one of those quests. Oh, quickly. This is just going to reset the night, so we want to do this now. Oh, we can't until we fucking have some torches. Shit. Well. Stay away. <laughs> um, we can get torches pretty easily. Oh, here we go. Do this one. Which gives us four torches. Come on. Come on. Luckily, it's 110. Oh, no. Yeah, so we don't want to spam, is basically. I'm doing that exactly the wrong way. So we'll do that. And then we'll do this one. Oh, these are lit torches. Come on. Don't be a shithead. Oh, because it's a crafting task. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, yeah, we can't fucking do that until we have... Uh, the materials that we need. I think this will be a lot easier with, um, keep inventory on, honestly. I had a theme. I had something that I was going for, but I just kind of took it a little bit too far, and it got kind of unenjoyable to play at points. Um, except for me, of course, because I played it so often that I just knew exactly what I was doing, and everyone else was like, um, this is too hard. And I'm like, oh, well, you're just shitty at games. Kind of an asshole. <laughs> Uh, uh, while we're here in this completely unsafe place, we can quickly run through some of the quests. Wither Killer, the drop rate sure is low. You'd have to kill at least 120 Wither Skeletons to get three skulls, but since probability doesn't work that way, have three skulls on the house. Don't worry, it'll get easier if, after you kill 20 Wither Skeletons. How genuine of me. Mobs in this world are really difficult. Many of them have abilities, like spiders can web you, burn down webs with a glowstone infused torch. Endermen can teleport you, creepers are invisible when they get near you, zombies can break into your house. But for the most part, their health is relatively manageable, except the longer you play, the stronger they get. They gain more health and more attack, and sometimes difficult versions of them spawn called blights, which are even more powerful. Is there anything you can do to prevent this? I hear you ask the all-powerful god. No, lol. Yeah, they get stronger over time due to scaling health, which is the difficulty thing you see in this bottom left-hand corner. However, um... I, the difficulty increase isn't too fast, and the, um, yeah, the difficulty increase isn't too fast, uh, and it is, like, a, it has a high cap is the thing. That's where it really becomes an issue.